Let's start the third exercise. All right, we found some back in once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the third exercise over here. Indeed, we're continuing with the calculator, of course, this time with classes. So the assignment over here or the exercise is to create the same calculator application that we've seen before, where you can, you know, choose an operation. You can then enter the operation. You choose the first number and the second number, and then it calculates this. Now, this time, we're going to completely over-engineer this by basically making a class for each operation, right? I want you to make an addition class and a division class and all of that. And I want you to make a custom interface that they all implement. Basically, interface is going to be the operation interface. And that basically has the method or multiple methods, if you need them, that every one of the operations needs to implement. And then you also should make a calculator class itself that deals with the calculation. So it is definitely over-engineered. This is not really the way that you would do this. But sometimes these over-engineered examples do show shed light basically on how things are implemented and and basically showing you the individual parts that you need in order to create this now as i've said in the previous exercises i highly recommend you actually do this you don't just look at the solution you really try to actually implement this even if let's say you only get one operation done although what i will say is that when, once you get one operation you should really be able to get all of them i just really recommend you try this because otherwise familiarizing yourself with all of the concepts that we've gone through in the past tutorials they just won't stick as well so i just cannot recommend enough try it out see if you can get this done and then we can move on to the solution Alrighty, so here we are with the solution. And the first thing I want to note is that this is, of course, just one possible solution. There are many different ways that you can implement this. It does not have to match this one to one. But basically, of course, we need another scanner over here. And then we're choosing our operation. As we enter the operation right here, we then have this and we are getting a new operation right here declared. And then the assignment over here happens in this switch statement where we're taking the choice to lowercase and then saying, OK, is it a plus or a plus or a minus or a minus? And then making either a new addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. Now, those are all new classes over here. As you can see, let's middle mouse mark, click on one of them and actually go in there. You can see it has a perform method and also also a get operation symbol method because I thought oh, that was would be a pretty good me method to add and those all implemented the operation interface if we go into this you can see this has the perform method as a method signature over here that has to be implemented like this with a first number and a second number and then also the get operation symbol method over here that we're also implementing and let's say in the division the same thing happens here, the same thing goes for the second number. If that is unequal to zero, we're just returning normally. Otherwise, we're saying, hey, error division by zero. And we're returning, in this case, even the minimum value here for an integer. You could also return zero. That's fine. But, you know, whatever you want to return right here is fine. Oh, yeah, there you go. That is the different classes over here. Then we're continuing to make a calculator. And the calculator, you actually create that, right? The constructor here needs an operation to be calculated. To be created so you pass this in and then you've read in the first number you read in the second number and you call the calculate method right here on the calculator which returns you the result and bada bing bada bang you basically have this almost done you get an operation string right here if we go into the calculator itself you can see the operation string is just the first number and then a space whatever the operation symbol is and then the second number and that is then equal to whatever result you get if i go in here you will see right enter the operation let's say plus over here i want to do 15 plus 15 let's say bam all of a sudden i get 15 plus 15 is 30 awesome Oh, a plus over here snuck the, snuck itself in. There you go. But the general idea is that, well, that basically works and it is done with classes and even, you know, some, some polymorphism, right? An interface over here. All of the things that we've basically discussed the previous times. Now, I will say that this is an interesting exercise. But of course, in theory, this is all a little bit of nonsense when you really think about it, right? Because, I mean, this is crazy over-engineered, but it is still very interesting to see. And hopefully it was an interesting challenge to implement this, but that's going to be it for the third exercise over here. Next time in this video, we'll talk about enums and advanced enums. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.